you look alright. Better than Turnbull stuff. I think you look alright. I've been here since February, is it? Obviously I came in, tried to impress for the first couple of months and help the team stay where they were. They were in a high position, flying, and I just wanted to add to the team and I wanted to improve myself and I chose the best club, I believe, in, in Scotland where I could go. I signed a new contract in the summer for another year. I just want to improve myself as a player. I don't think the money, the lifestyle and that's as important as improving yourself as a player or as a person. You see boys moving, you see boys improving, and hopefully I can help myself to score goals and help the team out. Yeah, it's great to be settled, it's great to be close to home. I used to get homesick a lot, travelling away, but in football I've seen a few opportunities that I probably couldn't turn down and I went away, but for me I probably thrive better at home. I've got a settled life outside football, so hopefully I can bring that onto the park and help the team as much as possible. I said when I was younger I used to come here, I know people probably think I'm doing a Robbie Keane and saying I support every club I sign for, but this was the first stadium I came to. My uncle came from uh, Newark Hill, so we used to come. The no smoking signs were over there, so I sat 44A, 4B, whatever that is, over this side. It wasn't just once, I used to come all the time. Every Saturday I used to stay at my uncle's, watch a wrestling on a Friday, watch it on a Saturday morning and then come here and then I think I maybe got to the age of five. I'm guessing five or six. I chose to play football. I remember Don Goodman, he was my favourite. I don't know why, and good man. I think that just kind of stuck out because when you're five and six, you don't really, you don't really follow it as much. That's my earliest memory. I just, I remember that was when I first obviously started coming to games. I was obviously when I was older, I, I changed allegiances, but I always had a soft spot for Marvel in my heart. I think people have got the wrong impression, definitely, I think. But I just let them, that's fine. I, I think I'm I, loud, I'm a joker probably, I like to get in about people's ears, but I think people have got the impression I'm stupid, but that's what I just like to lead them on and do. I think that's good that I can have the last laugh about that because I know deep down that's not the case. Obviously there comes a time where you need to be serious, so as I'm getting older I'm trying to rein it in and listen more and be more productive in that way, but in my character it's just about being happy and trying to bring the best in me. I'm a striker, I like to come deep and get the ball, I like to drift, so I'd like to think I'm not a maverick type, but you probably would put me in that category. I hope people can see me soon, obviously, as a consistent performer, one that they can trust and one that they can get behind. I don't want to be known as somebody that tries to not make you, tries to get by you. I just want to be known as somebody that gives you a solid 7 or 8 out of 10 every week. I know it's hard being a forward player and getting that, but I need to try and impress the manager and his coaching staff to make sure I can get that opportunity to show I can. Pre-season's been really tough. We came in to get a, a standard. I feel that all the boys have met that standard and the manager keeps raising the standards higher and higher because that's just in his nature. He's been brilliant with me, he's pushing me to my limit and hopefully that's going to help me going forward. I think you get more out of that kind of game than you will do playing lesser teams and lower league teams that we usually do every season. We certainly got put to the sword at times tonight. We certainly got tested. And they looked like they'd played four competitive games. We looked like it was our second game. You know, we've had two 45 minutes and that was the longest our boys had played on it. And it looked like that at times, let's be honest. But that's what you want, you want to test yourself. I thought there were some good things, some poor things as well, of course, um, and some of the understanding needs to be better, which will, will happen as we go along. The level of opposition we've chosen is, you know, the top teams in the country that we want to play and, and test ourselves and, and get our fitness levels up, and that's solely what this is for.
happening. It's good. Yep. We're at Chatelarou, which is near Hamilton, and just thought I'd get out and explore the area because I haven't really been anywhere in lockdown, so it's good to get out and about for a wee walk. Just a bit of fresh air. I'm the gaffer's son. I came here in January and I've uh, been here about six, seven months now. To be fair, all the boys in the club call me Harry, but uh, I think on social media my nickname's Gaffer's son or Robbo's boy, so uh, my name's actually Harry. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really bother me, like, it's quite funny actually, but obviously people are going to link me with him, so you can see why I'm called that, but it wasn't really anything to do with my dad that made me come here, it was just the fact it's a good club. <laughs> <laughs> like something like the Titanic, isn't it? Them trees are huge. That's it, it's quite a nice view, isn't it? Not tall enough. I was at Oldham for three years, so I moved over when I was 16. Made my debut when I just turned 18. And then I had about eight different managers, so it was hard to get into, well, you'd get in with one manager and the next thing he'd be gone. So it was hard to get into the team. So I went on loan to Crusaders back to Belfast for three months and then came to Motherwell. Came in in January, the deadline day actually, and just a train mix between in between the reserves and first team every day, and played all the games for the reserves. So it was good to get. I haven't played in months, so when I came in, it was a bit of a eye opener about how fit everyone was here, and really the lockdown was good for me. Just use it for running and getting fit and getting stronger. So uh, it was productive anyway. How did you know what you're looking out to? No, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that area is? I don't know, I'm guessing. <laughs> That's towards the training ground down there. Right. See if you look tidy. Oh, there's for a park, isn't it? <laughs> I actually hunt the crew that was there. Now that I'm back in, I've just been with the first team every day and it's about pushing people for places. I mean, there's good people in my position as well, but I want to be playing every week and whether that's here or going on loan first to come back to be a first team mother world player. I just want to play in front of crowds, I want to play men's football now because I've had enough time. I got a taste of it at Oldham and then obviously it didn't happen again so I want to come somewhere now and establish myself as a first team player. Uh, I can play on either wing. At the minute I've been playing right wing since I've came to Motherwell and I like just coming inside and making things happen. Lots of crosses being direct and getting a few shots away as well. All the wingers are really different. You've got Sherwin, who's lightning quick, very skillful, and then I'm probably different. I'm more just get the ball, get my head up, and look for someone in a better position, cross or get a shot away. And then you've got Jermaine as well, who's just unbelievable technically. So I think everyone's a bit different. So it's just whatever uh, Gaffer and the assistants thinking. I came to Motherwell for good coaching, playing a team that suits my position as well. So it's probably one of the best clubs in UK to be at as a young player just because the amount of players, game time, how money develops. So I, don't, I always wanted to come to Scottish football. It's perfect. to get more, more minutes, I think more minutes the better, as the gaffer says that your sharpness and your touch and your uh, quickness of thinking comes with the more minutes you play, so to get another 90 personally is, is brilliant. Probably from a defensive point of view, maybe poor goals to lose, I think we, we showed you know, good composure on the ball and it's, you can see that we're getting there in terms of patterns of play and, and shifting the ball and shifting opponents, so it's looking more and more positive in the build-up. Um, See you next week.